Give me another reading. All systems nominal. She's doing fine. This is a mistake. You aren't really in a position to criticize. The Syndicate is using the warehouse to shuttle contraband. Chung went underground to gather evidence. He failed to report in this morning. Find him, and get me what I need to shut the place down. Or shut it down yourself. I'm on it. Update. Daoden latency holding at 27.1. Bioplasmic waveform stable. A class 3 adrenal spike when you gave the order, but nothing out of the ordinary. What are you sending her into? It's a simple bust, in and out. She needs a trial run. Good luck, Kanoko. Listen, Kanoko. You weren't in any danger during basic training. But now that you're in the field, we better review your health display meter. Hello, and welcome back for another Let's Play. For those that aren't aware, I am Stratifier, the persistent voice that Violet Summers claimed to hear in her head during the war crimes trial. Hey. This time through, we're going to be following another Sakai fan fatale as she wantonly murders her way through crowds of people that may or may not deserve it. We've learned from that console that a new type of railgun has recently turned up in the city, and that the Syndicate here are trying to ship ammunition for it through this warehouse. Kanoko and I will be sure to put a stop to that. You may have noticed the merciless beating I gave that factory worker, and glimpsed the pistol I started with. Oni has a very interesting combination of mechanics, having somewhat excellent melee controls that allow a wide array of combinations of power attacks, and uh, incredibly mediocre gunplay that still wins out more often than not. I'll be trying to showcase the melee as often as possible, as it really is what makes the game stand out above other contemporary action genre games. And uh, as we move along, we'll learn more about combat moves, some of which are already unlocked and can be used, if you're aware of them, and some that are not. Beyond all that, Oni has a superb pedigree. The game was made by a combination of Bungie, the creators of Halo and Marathon, and Rockstar, the creators of games like Grand Theft Auto and L.A. Noir. I'm convinced that both teams spent all their development time on the control scheme, which really is phenomenal, and scribbled together the story from the last several anime they watched. You just saw our first gun-wielding enemy, a weapon with a machine gun. As we get further along in the game, I'll be giving you a rundown of the various weapons that we can pick up. There's a decent variety of varying usefulness, but for now we're going to concentrate on melee. Kinoko, there's something I have to tell you about hypo sprays. I'm not supposed to talk about this, but data suggests that hypos will work differently on you than on other people. If you use a hypo when you're close to full health, you may experience the overpower effect, a temporary burst of strength and health. It will only last a short time, so try to take advantage of the temporary boost it gives you. But please, don't tell Commander Griffin I told you about this. Chum. It's Chung. I found him. Dead? Yes, sir. Keep moving. Incoming objective data. From that data pad, we learned a few things. The Syndicate is smart, from what I hear. It uh, also tells us that Musashi Manufacturing is a front for the Syndicate smuggling ring. The warehouse manager is suspicious of this, so we'll have to go see if we could save him. Also, you heard Shimatawa telling us about the overdrive earlier, a strength boost that uh, lasts as long as we crank our health up and above the maximum. It's short-lived, but useful for taking on groups of enemies. As far as combat is concerned for now, standing still gives us a chance to block an attack, but most enemies can easily bust through our feeble defenses much more reliable to use Kanoko's agility to keep our face out of Punch Central. As time goes on, we'll get a few relatively unblockable attacks of our own. We've made our way up and off the warehouse floor, albeit temporarily, and hopefully we can find a lead as to where they're keeping the uh, warehouse manager. Here you can see the glowing purple aura that indicates overpower, which should let me make quick work of this soldier. Now, uh, for the next time, I'm just going to ventilate him. console tells us more about the contraband and their attempts to mask the weight 
interesting, but ultimately won't help us punch things in the slightest. Heavier attacks will knock enemies down, and hitting them on the ground is one of the best ways to weaken them without suffering the same fate yourself. It also allows you to position for a heavy damage combo when they get back to their feet. Enemy soldiers are color-coded, with tan uniforms being the lowest tier. Blue is a medium difficulty, and red tend to be the most dangerous we run up against. The mission will mostly be tan, with a few warehouse workers sprinkled in. There's an enemy in the room behind me, one of the Syndicate's lieutenant class, but I'll leave him well enough alone until I've accessed the console above. At that point, I'll be between him and the alarm he'll try to get to, t letting me take him down easily. Enemies that are set to alarm will single-mindedly run for the console that does so, regardless of what kind of hurt you put on them. Hey! Catch him, Kanoko! Don't let him reach the alarm console and activate it! That may have been alarming for him, but I don't think it was in the sense he intended. Since I have so much extra ammo, let's take this next fella down the easy way. The pistol's a good weapon throughout most of the game. It's accurate, decent damage, and has an alright clip. This syndicate soldier is after the civilian, but I beat him to the punch. Watch out! If you hurt innocent people, they won't want to help you. Thank you. They're holding the warehouse manager upstairs. He lets us know where the manager is, and uh, after investigating an empty generator room, I'll get right out. I surrender. Please. Oh, please. We, have we have to be careful not to damage the civilians, or they'll curl up in a ball and not have anything to do with us. So rather than risk collateral damage, I'll back up and let the soldier come to me. They took over the whole place, and they're loading some kind of armored truck. I think they're almost finished. You better hurry up. I'll open these doors for you. It sounds like they've finished loading their railgun ammunition, so we'd better book it and make sure that we stop them from escaping. Throws are some of the best and most powerful attacks available, but the timing required to pull them off can be quite difficult. The best, easiest throw we have is the charging kick, wherein we jump up and flip them with our legs. Later we'll get a similar attack activated by punching that can damage multiple enemies. No time for stairs, let's take a shortcut. Fighting multiple enemies is always dangerous, as at least one of them will have an advantageous angle of attack to get by your blocks. It's best to take one of them to the ground as quickly as possible and then murder the ever-loving crap out of the other one while he's down. Inoko. Those syndicate troops are trying to remove evidence from the warehouse. I've scanned the truck and they've almost finished securing their cargo. There's no way to get inside the truck. You've got to find some way to stop it from leaving the building. Sounds like we're down to the wire here, so we've got to dodge some incoming fire while we look for a way to disable that truck. time or need to pick up that ammo, our final objective is on the next platform up. We'll just go ahead and take this guy out as gently as possible. Then again, get out of my way. They're gonna run that dead guy over. We have to put a stop to that. I found a data pad. It's an encrypted shipping manifest that links the warehouse to Masashi Manufacturing. I want to go check it out. It's not far from here. Well done, Kanoko. Fall back. I'll have you picked up. Musashi is owned by BGI. According to your latest report, BGI is a suspected syndicate front. If we can prove the connection, we can move against them. I can go in and... Negative. 
fall back. We can't afford to wait for another team to arrive. We have to move quickly or they are going to get away. She won't back down. Her adrenals have been rising steadily. Too much stress could destabilize her latency. <sighs> All right, Kanoko. I'm giving you a shot at this. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. <laughs> 